Hi everyone, today I'm doing my 38 week pregnancy vlog update and today I'm officially nine and a half months pregnant which is really really exciting. 38 weeks which means that I have two weeks to go to my due date and I know I'm not going to get to the due date so I'm super excited because it could be any day now or it could be in a week. It could be less so I'm really excited, I'm really looking forward and I'm really scared. So. Um, last week I went to the doctor on Friday for a checkup and I also had an ultrasound so the ultrasound was to check the baby's weight and the baby's um, fluid levels to make sure because she was measuring like under the normal mark um, for my belly size so we just wanted to double check and make sure that everything was okay and the test results came back very good the fluid levels were really good. They were, um, I guess, normal. There was no complaints. The ultrasound tech was very nice. Uh, it's the same guy that I see all the time there. And he's pretty thorough. And he, like, walks you through the ultrasound. So I really like that. And, um, yeah, he said that everything looked good, as well as the doctor. The doctor also said the same thing. Um, and the baby is right now measuring at five pounds 15 ounces and of course that could fluctuate that that's not like a hundred percent accurate it could be he said like a pound either way but I don't think it's like gonna be a pound more it's gonna be um maybe a pound less to that I don't know so we'll see so um that was exactly how much my first daughter weighed at birth so they said that she's going to be around six pounds that's the estimate so we'll find out when she's born how big she is, but um, yeah, so she will be around six pounds, but there's nothing wrong with her. She's fine. She's normal. She's just small. And of course, the doctor said to me, small people have small babies and big people have big babies. And, you know, he wasn't concerned. I, I seen a new doctor and I actually was pleasantly surprised. It was really, really nice. Um, very, very nice bedside manner. was joking around and laughing and talking a lot so I really like that he was very sociable so that made me feel like more comfortable he also checked my cervix and it's still the same as the week before it is no change it is thick and long according to him which is exactly what my other doctor that I that I say um said thick and long long and thick I don't know um, I've never even heard of that term, but uh, apparently my cervix is really high, I guess, and there it, there's just no change. It hasn't, like, thinned out. So, you know, he said, you know, do I think you're going to give birth tonight? No, I doubt it, but anything is possible, especially with your third child. So, yeah, I'm still here. I haven't had the baby yet, and um, I'm kind of thinking that I'll probably have the baby sometime after Thanksgiving hopefully and during the weekend so I'm thinking Saturday or Sunday I'm gonna have her but we'll see I also got my strep B culture test results back and uh, unfortunately it's positive so I have to have the penicillin drip and I'm not really happy about that because I need to have enough time in order to get the drip and I'm afraid that I won't make it to the hospital because I'm just afraid. I mean, what happened with me when my first daughter is I was strep B positive with her, negative with my second one, and now positive with this one. So it's totally normal to have it come and go and it doesn't affect you. It's, you know, just a bacteria that's living, you know, on you and in you and it comes and goes. And with my second daughter, it's a good thing I didn't I wasn't positive because I made it to the hospital just in time to have her but that's because it's really my fault I waited at home labored at home for most of the time waiting for my water to break which never happened until last minute when I felt like I had to push so thank God I was negative with her so I just have to give myself some extra time this time to get to the hospital in order to get the penicillin so that's really the only thing I have to worry about um what else Oh, they weighed me, and it, I actually lost a pound. So, not only did I not gain anything, I lost a pound. I, I don't really know how, but 
I have been feeling a little like sick here and there. I'm feeling a lot better, but um, just a word of advice. If you have heartburn, that antacid that's a liquid, um, has a lot of magnesium in it. And actually, I didn't know this, but magnesium gives you like severe diarrhea. And, you know, I've had to like cut back on drinking that stuff and not instead of chugging it, I'm going to have to use like the measured dose just to make sure I don't poison myself. But obviously I was overdosing on it and it was causing some severe stomach issue so yeah um I have a doctor appointment um this Wednesday to you know check everything so hopefully there you know I mean I'm hoping that there'll be some kind of sign that I'm gonna give birth soon because I'm getting to the point where I'm tired of being pregnant I'm very uncomfortable I cannot sleep I have to take naps now during the day because at night I'm getting I really do sleep in like two hour shifts. Like every two hours I'm up. Last night I had to wake up like five or six times just to pee. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm getting to the point where it hurts. She is growing bigger. She's starting to kick me where you can feel the foot coming out. I mean, it's crazy. She's kind of on the bony side, but yeah, when she moves around, it hurts. But anyway, I think that's all I have to say. Um, I'm just going to do a quick belly shot. So yeah, so this is from the front. The side. And the other side. And I'm very itchy. But I think it's from the clothes. Yeah, so um, still no stretch marks. And yeah, I don't know. I have a feeling that I'm going to be, or the baby's going to be, um, yeah, around probably 5.15 or so. Um, like my other daughter, because I don't feel as big. Um, oh, sorry, that's the phone. But um, anyway, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you'll have a great one and you get to enjoy it with family and friends. We're just going to have the four of us home alone, um, eating a dinner. <laughs> that's usually what we do. We just have a quiet little gathering. I make my stuffing, he makes his. And that's it and hopefully I won't have the baby by then and I'll get to enjoy it at home otherwise I'll see you soon I'll probably do an update who I don't know we'll see I'll I'm afraid I'm gonna go into labor before I do an update for my 39 weeks if I make it to 39 weeks I'll be doing my 39 week update so I'll see you then bye and have a great Thanksgiving